Hey everybody, it's Jimmy from the DIY and Digital, and today we're taking a look at this Arduino starter kit. Welcome back everybody. First of all, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that bell icon so that you don't miss any updates like this video. So today we are taking a look at a starter kit from Elegoo. It's one of my favorite little Arduino accessory companies and Arduino clone manufacturers. And this is the, the most complete starter kit for Arduino R3 and it's got a whole lot in it. And uh, we're gonna take a look at it. So the people from Elegoo were nice enough to send me this kit to review for free. They're not paying for this review. They just wanted me to take a look at it. So let's go ahead and open it up. So the first thing that I noticed immediately is something that a lot of kits don't have, and that's a complete guide to what every part in the kit is. And that is something that I absolutely love. So let's dive right into the kit right here. It starts off with a little thank you and customer support letter. And uh, that's really nice in case anything goes wrong. And the next thing that we have is we have a disc with a bunch of stuff to get you started on doing Arduino. The next thing we're going to look at is we have the Uno itself. Now it is branded Elegoo, but it looks like a pretty standard Uno right there. And we'll get into that a little bit later. Another thing that it has right here is it has a small breadboard with a soldering board shield that goes on top of the Arduino. The next thing that we have in the kit is a pack of resistors and according to the information it has 120 resistors total and by looking at it it goes all the way down to 10 ohms up to 1 mega ohm or 1 million ohms so a lot of different resistors. Next thing we have is a 4x4 keypad. Um, this is really handy for doing little digital inputs right there. So a little 4x4 keypad. We then have a large breadboard, which is really great for prototyping, and I pretty much consider a necessity if you're going to be doing anything with Arduino. I use one pretty much every tutorial that I've ever done. Next we have a power supply and this power supply is 9 volts, so same as a 9 volt battery right there. Not quite enough to really power any railroad of a significant size, but it's good for running the Arduino for the vast majority of stuff that you are going to be doing. The next thing we have is something that I've really grown to like in starter kits, and that is this little external power supply. You can run it off USB or DC power, and it's got a bunch of additional 5 volt connections, and it has some ground pins as well. It's really great if you got a lot of different things you got to power, and you can't do it all from the Arduino. Next up, we have a little Max 7219 dot matrix. Um, it's got little lights in it, so you can make little dot matrix patterns in it. Next up is a sound sensor. So it has a little sensor that detects sound waves and will let you know when sound is detected when hooked up to a sensor input on the Arduino. Next up is a DS1307RTC clock module and RTC stands for real time clock. So this lets you keep time in a 12 or 24 hour frame so that you can have time inputs on your Arduino. Next up is a DC motor complete with DuPont connectors so it is ready for prototyping. We then have a single digit seven segment display. Now this is kind of those old school alarm clocks or counters or displays of numbers, that kind of stuff. 
And one thing that I really like about this kit is it actually also includes a four digit seven segment display and you don't see that in a lot of kits. You see either one or the other. So that's really nice that this kit has both of those. Next up is a 5 volt relay. Now we're used to seeing these on a little circuit board that accompanies them, but this is what the relay looks like without the circuit board. The next thing on our list is an infrared motion sensor. Now this is a little bit different than the proximity sensors that we use on the railroad. This is just designed to detect any sort of motion. It's what you find in your house with security systems, something similar like that. So infrared motion sensor still has a lot of cool uses on a model railroad. The next thing we have is we have a rotary encoder and that's similar to a rotary potentiometer except it uses code to send its signals back and forth. And there's also an infrared receiver module in here for receiving infrared signals like the remote control that we're gonna go over. The other part in here is a heat and temperature sensor. So if your railroad is in a uh, hot or cold place. This might be something useful if you need some sort of monitoring system you want to build yourself. Next thing we have here is we have a little fan blade and this just goes on the DC motor. It's just uh, something cool you can do with the DC motor right out of the kit. I don't really see a use for this <laughs> right off the bat with the model railroad. The next thing we have is something here really cool. If you've heard of RFID, this is an RFID sensor with a little key fob and key card that can scan on the RFID system. So that's a really cool little thing to have right there. One thing I thought it cool to do with a railroad with this is have an RFID scanner that unlocked it and powered it up. So this is probably my favorite little part of this kit. Um, you actually rarely see something like this within the kit. Most everything comes in plastic baggies. And what this all is, is this is all your small parts, your LEDs, your diodes, your capacitors. There's an H-bridge motor driver in there. There's a shift register. There's a couple of potentiometers, some buzzers, some transistors. All that stuff is in that kit and it's nice and safe and it's a really easy smaller thing to take out. So I really, really like this idea rather than just using the simple baggies because I have those little baggies all over the place now. So this is a great idea and this is much better than just using the simple baggies. The next thing that we have is we have the circuit board for driving a stepper motor and the stepper motor that comes with the kit you just plug it in there and you hook everything up to the Arduino through the pins. Next up is a GY521 module, and this is a gyroscope accelerometer module, so it can really just detect movements and tilts and all sorts of stuff like that. Up next, we have an ultrasonic sensor, and this is really great for measuring distance or telling if something is too close. It just sends out an ultrasonic ping and registers how long it takes to get back. Next up is a joystick module, and for those of you that are more Arduino savvy than I am, I'm pretty sure you can figure out a way to control your railroad with a joystick module. I may have to work on that myself, too. And here we just have a 9 volt battery. It is nice and plastic sealed so that hopefully the drain isn't too bad on it from shipping. And here we have a little servo motor. This is something that could potentially be used to raise and lower a crossing gate. Um, if you're doing that kind of motion, this is definitely something you'd want to use this or a stepper motor. And here is a water level sensor. Um, the only thing I really think that's useful for for model railroad is if you needed to keep track of any water if your layout was in the basement. If uh, any water happened to seep in and you need some sort of alarm system you wanted to build yourself. 
And then we have a remote control. Um, this goes with the infrared receiver module that um, was in the kit earlier. And then we have a 2x16 LCD backlit screen and it's got all the pins on the back for the connection to the Arduino. Then we have a whole bunch of male-to-male -male DuPont connector wires. These are always very useful. They are a couple different lengths. We then of course have the USB cable that you connect the Arduino to the computer with. And then we have some male to female DuPont wires, so another useful thing for prototyping. We then have the 9 volt DC power adapter so you can hook the 9 volt battery up to the Arduino. And last but certainly not least, we have the stepper motor that goes with that stepper motor board that I showed you earlier. And that's everything that's in the kit. As I usually do to test out any Arduino starter kit, specifically the actual Arduino itself, I usually take one of my more recent Arduino tutorials and I use nothing but the kit to build it out. In this case, I'm doing the Arduino traffic signal tutorial and I'm using nothing but pieces in the kit itself. So we're gonna go ahead and wire this up and then we're gonna load the programming onto it, which went on perfectly fine. And we're gonna use the power supply that's provided and everything hooks up fine and looks like it works. And you can see the lights are changing, so pretty much everything is working as it should with an Arduino. So that is the most complete starter kit for Arduino Uno R3 from Elegoo. It's a really, really great kit. I absolutely love it. It's my favorite kit that I've reviewed so far it's a really good company when it comes to arduino stuff so if you're looking to get started in doing some arduino stuff whether it's just random projects or you really want to do some of these tutorials i've done or you want to do some other stuff for your model railroad with arduino this is a great place to start um, it's got a ton of stuff to really get you going and also if you would like this kit I am giving one away so all you have to do is put in the comments below what you would use the Arduino starter kit for now the entries are going to be open until this Friday so go ahead and get those entries in and uh, I'll be on the lookout and we'll do the drawing the following week so if you haven't already, go and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any updates and leave a comment on how you use this starter kit in the comments below so that you can be entered to win a Arduino starter kit from Elegoo. Until next time, I'm Jimmy from the DIY and Digital. Happy railroading!